Hello everyone, Clea Bakhmutov. Want to show another example of TypeScript trick. In this case, we have a page that has pagination implemented. It's showing a bunch of items, but it's only page 1 out of 3. We have a button to go to the next page. When we get to the third page, notice that the button becomes disabled. We can no longer go to the next page. How do we get to the last page from Cypress Stack if we don't know the number of pages? Well, let's look at the markup. Open the elements and let's look at this next. You can see that it has pagination next class. Okay, let me quickly copy it for our use. When we get to the last page, what do we have here? Well, we have this pagination. This is the text. And this button, the next, pagination next, has another class disabled. So we want to start the test, find this button and keep clicking it until it has a class disabled. Let's write this using Cypress Recurse. I have prepared a test. We're visiting the page. Now we need to recurse. I already imported recurse from Cypress Recurse. We need two functions. The first one executes a, an action. Some Cypress commands. In this case, we want to get the element. And this is the class that I selected. Now, once we get this element, we don't want to click it. We first want to check if it has class disabled. Now, this yields us a jQuery element. So, our next parameter is a predicate. This is an element, right? So, in this case, it would be like next button. We can put dollar sign because it's jQuery element. And we want to stop recursing when this element has class disabled. So the recursion will look for this element, pass it to the predicate, and if this element has class disabled, then recursion will stop. Let's see how it works. So we load the page, we find the button, notice how it's highlighted right here. We pass it, right? Well, we haven't actually done anything. Our algorithm only found the button, check that it has class disabled. It doesn't. So then it iterates again. So that's why we iterate 30 times like this. We actually have to click the button after. So in order for us to do something with the element we found, we need another parameter. At this point, as you know, there are way too many parameters. So all our arguments are placed into the options. In this case, let's do our argument as a post. So this is another function that you can provide to Cypress recurse through the options. If you want to run other Cypress commands after the callback is done and after the predicate returns false, right, you can run additional commands. In this case, we want to grab this button again because we know it's not disabled and we want to click. Now, this goes very quickly. Check this out. We end up at the last page because when we get right here, we get the pagination next element and it has class disabled so the recursion stops notice first page clicked went to the second page grab the button doesn't have class so we clicked get to the last page and it has class disabled so we stop because it happens so fast i like to use delay let's say one second just for clarity so what will happen we'll find an element check if it has class disabled it doesn't have a class disabled this goes here then it will delay by one second and then it will actually click okay, let me run it again first second all right so this is how you can iterate through all the pages using cypress recurse